I'm Ben Shapiro. You might remember me from Breitbart, holding my wood outside Home Depot. My 2016 op-ed, I will never vote for Donald Trump, and here's why. Or my 2020 vote for Donald Trump. What do you want? If you can't beat him, renounce your values and grovel before them. I don't care. I bet I make more than you. I'm sure I make more than you. And today, for the next three hours in this video, I'm going to destroy Barbie. I'm going to destroy her. I'm going to own her. I'm going to own, own her and destroy her. Those two things. I'm going to show you on the doll where the doll movie triggered me. The basic premise of the whole mise en scene is that Barbie is some kind of liberator figure, and basically that sets up two hours of non-stop, incoherent, feminist, liberal, women's studies, globalistic, secular, human propaganda vomit disguised as cinema. And it's, it's woke, too. Look, I spend the entire week feeding the grievance complexes of white men. When my weekend comes, I want an escape. I don't want woke Barbie. This Barbie ignores men and, and looks down on them and mocks them. Like, I mean, and I've known women like this. Mo I, most women I've known socially and, and in, in professional settings have exactly like this. Honestly, I have not been this angry since that couples counselor kept trying to convince me that the female orgasm was real. <laughs> it's not. You guys know. It's a myth. Like climate change and racism. This movie uses the word patriarchy a lot. A lot. I mean, use it once, fine. It goes over their heads, they don't know anything. But if you keep using that word, little girls are gonna know what it means. What's wrong with you? Most of the film is spent just smearing America's most vulnerable minority, wealthy white businessmen. Totally offensive. I was so outraged, I threw my booster seat at the screen. There's this transgender Barbie who exists in the film for seemingly no other reason than to tell children that transgenders are people that we should be nice to. Who's putting this in our kids' brains? Like, nobody ever gangs up on the trans Barbie, or calls it names, or says it's mentally ill, or misgenders it to make it cry, which, by the way, is completely legal, and you are allowed to do that anytime. They just accept this trans like it's a person. Ha! Let's see if Islam lets you get away with that Barbie. <laughs> All the men in this movie are portrayed as these pathetic, frustrated vessels of impotent rage because they can't control women. Men are not trying to control women, and that's why we have to stop Greta Gerwig from ever being able to make a movie again. The way men are portrayed in this movie is unforgivable. Look, when my wife's date comes over on a Friday night to make love to her in our marital bed while I sit and watch in a dark corner from my chair, I don't want to see some woke Marxist giving her the pleasure I cannot. You might have seen in my last video I bought some Barbies and set them on fire on my grill. How do you like that, Mattel? I burned your product, and all you've got is my money I paid you before I burn... In short, this film will make you so proud to be part of the gender that denies them control of their own bodies.